tried for the squids. out at Lomita tonight, down in the Texas Hill Country. Uh, it's out to be a beautiful day. White buffalo. You don't see that every day. White buffalo. Huh. There's what they're supposed to look like. Not white, silly buffalo. There's also a herd of elk around here somewhere. Beautiful, about 70 degrees. North of the Texas Hill Country. It's beautiful. Oh yeah. Boy, look at that view. You don't get that every day. Coming into the northern end of the Texas Hill Country. Just uh, south of Hamilton, north of Lolita. This is just past Cloudus Dairy, and this is the truck that hauls the poop. Yep. Walnut Springs. I'm gonna get a bite to eat at the uh, cafe. Tim made it through. Maybe get a bite with these guys. Texas and the shameful thing is you got to carry your own firewood and charcoal to cook steaks tonight got my new Moscow bags so excited about that Barefoot is one word or two words? Good question. 
Hey, I found it. We're nine, six, nine miles away. We see, we see a store. I need to stop and buy it. some cold six pack. Ooh, chicky, chicky, chicky. Ooh, chicky, chicky, chicky. <laughs> Damn, had to make a pit stop. Kevin? Kevin. Landis. I'm not paying his dollar. Okay. For doing that I'm trick. I'm going to make him work it off then. Good campsite. Teeth. I said, yeah, you don't allow tooth toothbrush either, dude. <laughs> Maybe he got in a fight with somebody that had a motorcycle and lost his teeth. Uh, it's like, no, he's got teeth. He's you? just got pegs. It's like that movie Deliverance. Yeah. Do, they, do they play banjos? Uh. <laughs> We're at Barefoot Campground outside of about 20 miles from San Saba. $7 a night to camp down in the Texas Hill Country on the Colorado River. Keith got here early to reserve a camp spot. That's the river, Colorado River down there where those bluffs are. campsite. Right down there's the river. Those big old cliffs. Oh yeah. Yeah. Score. Big time. Look at this. Yeah, as long as they don't run that pump all night, we'll be good.
bro. And they say Bigfoot's a myth. There he is. <laughs> and, uh, and they also have a tendency to get soft overnight. They lose a little air. This one, this one does not lose on my feet. any. I mean, my, my socks on my feet. My socks on my hands. <laughs> uh -oh. You ready? They're rolling. Class of breakfast. Great camp out, uh, got down to about 50 degrees this morning, which is just perfect, and uh, on the beautiful Colorado River. Now uh, we're packed up and we're gonna go find some breakfast and maybe drive through the Colorado Bend State Park. And uh, yeah, beautiful day. come out at? I think that's that muddy bank on the right over there out of the perfect. Let's go real fast. You can get pretty good speed going downhill. Probably skip across it. Just pull, hey, when you hit the water, pull up on the front end so you skim across. Come in on County Road 122 just south of Heiko. Grab some gas and Heiko, and uh, we're about an hour from home. Piece of about an hour and a half from home, so here's some great uh, dirt county roads. See a couple of Pyrenees dogs up here watching the sheep. Hey, puppies! How much gas you put in? 4.8. That's what I put in. So we got the exact same mileage. How come you're flashing? Huh? How come yours is flashing? It's broken. Let's tank, I guess. It's the Yamaha. Down Heiko. We're gonna stop down here and grab some Mexican food. Never have eaten there before, so. We'll give it a shot.
good place to wrap up this video. Uh, we're between Walnut Springs and Cleburne. And uh, yeah, about a 420 mile round trip ride this weekend. Uh, it was Keith on the uh, Kiyosaki concourse. Uh, Tim on the Yamaha Tenere and then Whispering Dave on the uh, Africa Twin. Uh, a little breezy yesterday and last night till about midnight. But then the winds laid down and got down to about 50 degrees. Yesterday's about 75 degrees. Today's about 70. And anyway, it's just a good little uh, trip, uh, mostly dirt from Cleburne down to Lamita, if not dirt, little skinny paved roads. Good fire. Tim brought the steaks from his home fed beef. And just had a, had a good time. Nothing like friends camping and riding motorcycles together. So unless I see the elk herd up here, I'm going to sign off. Uh, until next weekend, I guess.